Alrighty boys, so today, I thought it would be a pretty fun idea to see how long I can survive these Roblox games. I'll have to use some game knowledge, my own skills, and of course a little bit of luck. Let's move on to our first game, which is Decaying Winter. A game developed by Roblox Group Eden 227, and Decay Winter is a survival way-based shooter game with a heavy emphasis on individual, as well as team performance and not failing. And boys, we are here in the game right now. It looks like there's a game already going on, so you know what? Let me try to join a game where it's like, just started, or something like that. Two seconds later. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't find like a new game or anything. So let me just start like a private server, I'll play solo right now. Okay, night one has begun. Technically day one, um, if you really think about it, because of the title of the video. But yes, night one, let's just run over here and uh, go somewhere. I have a blueprint. If I have to be honest, I do not know how to use blueprints because I'm still kind of new to this game. I'll just try to maybe get a weapon or something. Preferably a ranged weapon, right? With uh, pretty good ammo in it and stuff. There might be something up here though. Please, weapon question mark, please. Nice, there's a weapon. Let's drop this thing and then grab this. And it uses light ammo as well. Perfect, actually perfect. Let me get this pizza cutter because I think it has a... Uh, might have better range. Unless it doesn't and I'm just getting scammed, I don't know. The storm is coming soon, yes, I know. For the first day, let's use the pizza cutter. Okay, I'm using this gun now. Nice. Okay, not that bad. Okay. Night two, cool. You guys, remember, I'm playing this game solo. Like, if you're a veteran at this game and you're really good, you can probably, uh, you're probably laughing right now, which is fine. But okay, guys, this game is kind of hard for me, okay? So after doing a little bit more scavenging, I was able to find this really cool firearm right over here. The only problem is that I had no ammo for it. But anyways, the storm came, and so did the enemies. I was able to hold them off though, thanks to this Molotov over here, and also these landmines. The hunting axe was very useful as well, I love how it just one-shots you in the face. And then that brings us on to day 3. Some more ammo from the Mac 10 perfect. Oh! That was close. Another hunting axe, dude, these are so useful. Military machete, that might be good, right? Nice, it's tier 2, it's really good. This might be the run, we're doing so well right now. Let's interact with the soda. We got beans. Okay, not bad. One more left, right? Yep, one more guy. No, two more guys. Well, there's so many people! Oh my goodness! Bro, this is cooked. Bro, why is it so cooked? Why is it so Alrighty, boys. So our next game is called Radiant Residence. A game developed by Roblox user I'm um, okay, what? And the game is a multiplayer survival horror game where it's the end of the world and you have to survive. And alrighty boys, we are here in the game right now. So okay, let's go to join lobby over here. Maybe join someone. You know what? Let's just play let's just play solo, because who cares? And oh my goodness, it's been so long since I played this game. And there's so many things that are added. It's like this is actually kind of new to me. I know exactly what to get. We have, we just have to get the really main items. We don't really need to get food or water or anything like that. Reason being is because we can just get it a little bit later, and there's a map of the town right there. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Let's do this thing. Give me the map. Open this door. Put this in there. Give me this fire axe. Good. Is there anything back here? There's a bag. That's so useful. Let's go upstairs, maybe get uh, something else. I totally forgot what to get. Oh my goodness, gas mask, here we go. And give me this uh, med kit. And I think that's everything we need, right? Nice. We know exactly what to do. Dude, everything is coming back to me. We have to use a computer, try to charge our firewall, check on this security camera, charge this thing. Let's go to maybe, uh, let's go grocery store. We need food. So after going for an expedition, I was able to get some food and some other supplies. I also got visited by these people here, claiming that the aliens were coming. But then after declining their offer, I literally got visited by this one kid here. Another person at my doorstep. Really, Nick? Bro! Oh my goodness, I don't have a toy. 
I need a toy and I have to give it to this guy or else he gets like pissed off or something. Yeah, I can't give you a toy, dude. Let me actually just sleep over here for some more, uh, more sanity. Oh my goodness, I'm not tired yet! I didn't know that they did that. I think they nerfed it. Avoid the red walls. Okay, so at this point, I went for another expedition. I was able to get a really good run, a lot of food and a lot of water. But then this one weird looking guy showed up and he wanted me to like hunt him down. And if I didn't hunt this person down within 10 days, my whole entire bunker would explode. Then I went for another expedition, but this time to the police station. I don't know what's in this area. This is my first time being here. My goodness, these guards are everywhere. Battery, tape, okay. Med kit, that's really good. Let's close this thing on him. Oh, I saw it! Chat, I saw it! Oh my goodness, this worm guy though! Dude! I actually might die here. Oh, I got him! I got him! Oh my goodness. And I, and I got a badge! I think I'm dead here. No. Are you kidding me right now? Alrighty boys, so the last game we have is called Whizbang. A game developed by Roblox user Captain Woodlegs, and Whizbang is pretty much a trench defense game where it's your job to eliminate all the enemies coming at you. Guys, we're in Whizbang right now. We are in Whizbang. And to my knowledge, let me go to the badges real quick. You can actually survive an X amount of days, for example, like three days, there's 20 days, there's actually a hundred days as well. And we're trying to aim for maybe like day 10 or something. I don't know how long that'll take. Let's pick Automat, because that's my favorite class. And okay, I don't know if there's really that much of an indicator of how many days I have survived. Let's just go over here and load our weapon, of course. And I think they're coming. These people are all shooting. And I think that's it. That's the first wave of them. Oh, I'm getting damaged somehow. Medic. Yeah, is there a medic here that can maybe help me? Oh, I got healed. Okay, this is really good. Oh, that guy's missing an arm. I think I got sniped. Let's get them like so, okay. Oh, and I'm bleeding out again, shot. I'm bleeding out again. Thank you so much. Always thank your medics. Your medics are literally the lifesavers. And okay, I'm starting to develop a beard here. Might be uh, close to like day one or day two, I don't know. A few moments later. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what? I think I got sniped by that one guy there, dude. I think I literally survived like, what, two days or something? That's so, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> 